quest for the whole e grail chapter one the whole e grail once upon a tim king arthur and lancelot were sighting in camelot round the round table sudden a knight cadged into the room and yelled arthur we know where the holy grail is arthur gasped I have been looking for this cup for years. Quick, Lancelot, we must gather the army and go on cures to get it. So then Lancelot and Arthur and all the other knights went on their horses and rode toward the palace where the knight had said the grail was hidden. Chapter 2. The Gold Bet of Fires when Arthur and Lancelot and all the rest of the knights made it to the place, they saw an old ruined castle. In the castle was a scary light made from a pumpkin and some creepy candles. We must be care, said Arthur, as he wandered into the castle door. As he went in Sid, there was a flash of magic, and Arthur fell down. What happened? cried Arthur. Who are you? said a voice from the dark. Arthur looked up and it was a small boy with glaces and black hair. He had a scar on his face and then he knew who it was. Harry Potter! yelled Arthur loudly. King Arthur and Lancelot! replied Harry. We have come here to seek the Holy Grail. Do you know where it is? Yes, the Grail is actually the Goblet of Fire from the Harry Potter book. Gasp! Arthu said as he stood upright. Yes, it is Ture. We must join forces and use its power to stop the Dark Ones. What are the Dark Ones? They are all the evil wizard from Harry Potter books, and also more dead from King Arthur's story, and also orcs from Lord of Ring, plus some other. Orc, said Arthur, as he went outside to get Lanceltoe. Chapter 3. The Lair of the Dark Ones. In the creepy lair of the Dark Ones, there was Sauron from Lord of the Rings, Voledomor from the Harry Potter, and also Mordred, and some evil ghost, and there was Eben, some skeleton, and also a Lick King from Waddle for Warcraft. They sat around a tabel made from skull of their enemy. We must kill Harry said Voldemort. Yes, and also we must kill King Arthur, because he has many knights that could come and harm us. Agree, Mordid. Sauron smashed the tabel with iron glove and said, We must also stop Frodo and Sam and Gandalf and all those from destroying the ring, because the ring will destroy all of us. Lick King said, I agree. And the evil skellion and ghost roared with agreement. Suddenly, a dark man appeared in the doorway of the room. It was a man made of blood. He said, Evil Lord, we have news of the Arthur and Harry Potter. I saw them go into Dark Creep Castle at night yesterday. Voldemort uttered an evil laugh and said, Ha ha ha, we will attack them tonight. And so, bunch of skeleton and thought, and also ring laugh, and death feeder from Harry Potter went to find the castle and attack Arthur and Harry. Chapter 4 Indian Jones and the Holy Grail. As Arthur, Lanceltoe, and the knights and Harry sat inside the castle and talked, they heard a knock at the window. Arthur peered out of door and saw a man in a hat with a whip. It was Indian Jones. Hello, Indian Jones, Arthur said out of window. Hello, Arthur, said Indian Jones. I have heard there was a holy grail in here. Yes, there is, but it is also Golbit of Fire from Harry Potter book. Oh, Ark! We could use your jelp to stop the Dark Ones from getting it, because if they do, they will destroy the world. Ark, I will help, said Indian Jones, and he came and sat round the table with the rest of them. So, we must make a plan to stop the Drac Ones in their evil plot to kill all the P.O.P.L. on world. Yes, replied Harry as he scrated his scar in thought. Indian Jones brogged a crystal skull from his pocket and said, This skull is magical. It can help us to destroy the Dark Ones. Good idea, said Arthur. 
So they made a plan to use the Crystal Skull to stop Voldemort and the rest of the Drac ones from their evil plot to destroy the world. Chapter 5. The Dark Ones Attack. So, Arthur Indian Jones in Harry Potter and also Lancelot spent the night at the old Creep Castell. They all went to sleep, but suddenly a noise woke them up! Indian Jones looked out of window and saw a army of skeleton grots and death feeder and ring wrath, led by the man made of blood. Gasp! he cried and told the others what he had sawn. Quick, get your weapons! said Arthur, so they got their weons ready. Arthur had exactly bored. Harry had a warm that Indian Jones whipped a pistol out of his pocket with his whip and put it in his hand, and then he loaded it with bullet. Lancelot went downstairs to get the other knights to help. Indian Jones fired bullets at the skeletos, and they fell down dead. Harry did a spell, and some ghosts were destroyed, and then Arthur jumps through the window and used Excalibur to kill some of the Death Dealer. The lead Death Dealer was Lucas Malfoy. He tried to do a Avadra Kadabra spell, but then Arthur stabbed him with Excalibur, and the blood poured down his front and robes. He screamed, Ah! Ah! But Arthur did not stop stabbing him until he fell down on the floor dead. Then the ring wrath and the man mad of blood and some ghosts that were not killed by Harry's spell ran away back to the Dark One's secret law to tell what had happened. I am sorry, Drac Ones, but we could not stop them. They were too powerful for Lukicus and his death dealers. What? yelled Swaron and the Lick King, and they stood up in anger. I am sorry, said the man made of blood with a pathetic voice, but they did not listen. Next, Tim, we must make sure we defeat them. Yeah, agreed Vodlermore. Chapter 6. The Russian and the Nazis. The Drac ones suddenly stopped their meeting as the door opened. Then some Nazi and the Russian woman from Indian Jones and the Crystal Skull came inside. They all had gun and lots of bullets, and then the woman said, We have come to join the Dark Ones. We want to kill Indian Jones. Ark, said Mordred, and then they began to train. Voldemort teach them some spell, and Sauron give them some orc armor to wear. Also, the woman joined the table with the other head Dark Ones. Our last plan failed. We need a new plan, said Voldemort. Yes, agree, Lick King. This Tim we need to attack secretly, not with massive army. Good idea! And so they made a plan to send a few Nazi and Ringrath who survived last fight to go under secret tunnel to find Harry and Arthur and the others. Meanwhile, at the Castell, Harry and Indian Jones and Arthur were setting out to meet Frodo and Gandalf so they could combine the power of Crystal Skull and Ring and Holy Grail together into one weapon to slay Drac ones. They met Hagrid outside who carried their things and also Lancelto and his knights. Where is Gandalf and the others? asked Harry. Don't know, replied Hagrid, but maybe they are at the Forbidden Forest. Ock, we will go to Forbidden Forest, said Arthur, and then they set off. Chapter 7 Forbidden Forest Soon Harry and Hagrid and Arthur and Indian Jones had made it to Forbidden Forest. It was dark and scared, and they stood outside it. We cannot see, said Hagrid, so Harry made a lumos, and his wand lighted up for them to see path ahead. There was lots of black trees and grass, and also it was misty. So they went in. Arthur could see eyes in the tree, so he pulled out his Excalibur and stabbed the tree, but there was nothing there. What are you doing, said Hagrid. I thought there was something in it. Ock. The keep walking until they saw a clearing. In the clearing was bones and skeleton on the floor, and also dead body on the trees, and blood on the floor. I do not like it, said Indian Jones. Suddenly, as them walk in a loud roar, a three-headed dog came into the clearing. Fluffy, exclaimed Hagrid, and he went and stroked Fluffy on the head and rubbed his chin. Fluffy will help us find the Frodo and Abbot. So Fluffy did a sniff on the ground, and then he found the trail.